Hey guys, and welcome back to Watch Gauge. I genuinely appreciate you guys always coming back, checking out the videos, going on to watchgauge.com, as well as uh, following the other social media channels. Today's video, I'm gonna keep this intro very, very short because it is hot in my office. I have the air conditioner is pumping. Uh, it's just, it's ultra hot here in New York. Uh, so I'm gonna try to keep this short. This video, once again, I'm very excited. I've got a brand new brand here on Watch Gauge that I'm about to launch right now and that brings me to the wristwatch check i am rocking the sartori biard sb02 now you'll notice that it's got a orange bezel a gray strap a white dial that is not the way the watch comes. So this brand came to me by way of my good friend James Henderson at TempestFugit.watch. If you're not familiar with his blog, check it out. Go look at Tempest Fugit, search it on Google, you'll find it. He's got a very unique way of writing. He talks about the backside of the industry that a lot of people won't talk about. So anyway, James touched base with me a couple weeks ago and said, hey John, I've got a brand that I think would be fantastic for watch gauge. So he turned me on to Sartori BR. What I love about this brand is you can customize it. I'm not going to get too far into the details because I have some information that you're going to see. Uh, I demonstrate how to change the bezels, change the straps, as well as give you all the details on the watch. So without further ado and without me sweating, uh, let's take a look. So let's look at what you get with the Satori Biard. Uh, this is a beautiful case that they've got here. It actually has an, an outer cardboard casing, but I actually took that off because I didn't want to fumble with it on camera here. So this is the interior box. The front is a magnetic flip up here. So you pull that front, roll it open, and this is the package as you get it when you buy just the watch. So in this case, we've got these, the white dial version of the watch. We've got a special screwdriver and screws that I will get into in just a moment. Polishing cloth your warranty card that's the front crystal plastic i took off there stuck to that uh, just so it's clear on the watch and this is an instruction booklet in both english and french on how to change the bezel as well as operate the watch itself if you ordered extra bezels or extra straps they will also be in here for you so to change the strap You've got a very, very, very useful little system here that you might see on a couple of different brands, but you basically have a little knob here that if you get your fingernail underneath it, pull it in a little, strap comes right off. To reinstall it, you find the hole on the bottom side, line it up, pull that little knob in again. I've got no fingernails, so it's a little, little tricky for me. And snaps into place and you're good to go to change the bezels. I'm going to have a whole demonstration on that for you in just a moment, but you've got four screws here with almost like a star type pattern. So it's not a typical screwdriver. So you've got a screwdriver included that has a special, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, try to focus on that, but you've got a special star type head that fits specifically for these screws and you get an extra set of four screws just in case you lose any of the ones that are in here. So with the watch itself, the Satori BR, you've got, this, they, they come, the white version comes with a stainless steel brushed bezel already installed. You can see the separation there. So there's uh, a steel bezel on there that matches the case. The case itself is brushed finish in many parts and then a high polished mirror finish in others such as on the lugs. The watch itself is 39 millimeters in diameter, 100 meter water resistance. Oh, I want to mention, it's only 12 millimeters thick, which is actually a pretty thin watch. It wears very, very nicely. You can see the one I've got on here. I'm also wearing the white dial version. The dial itself is really cool. So on the white dial version, as well as the black, but on both versions, you've got an outer dial. In the white version, it's actually like a, uh, a silver with a sunray finish. But the internal part of the dial is a white translucent. If I can focus and you guys can see this clearly, 
you can see the date wheel is at three o'clock, the date window. And as I change the date, it'll move along. But if you can see it clearly, you can actually see through the dial to the entire date wheel as well as the front plate portion of the movement. Very, very, very cool. It also has the same feature in the black dial version, which I'll bring over. Try to pull off some glare. So the black, again, comes with a black strap as well as the DLC coated black bezel. And you can see that dial as well. That it's translucent. You can see the date wheel underneath. And again, the front portion of the movement. The movement itself is the Miyota 8215 automatic. I did want to focus on this case back. It's a very, very nicely engraved, deeply engraved case back. It's not laser etched or, you know, some sort of cheap case back. This has a plastic cover on it, but it's very, very deep engraving. Shows the entire world. Tells you a bit about the watch as far as 100 meter water resistance. Uh, it's assembled in France and so on. There's no screw down crown, but again, it's 100 meter water resistance. Two positions, one position out is the date, second position out is the time. So this is the way that you would get your watch. And again, if you ordered any extra bezels, any extra straps, they will also be included in here as well. Now, let's take a look at how easy it is to take your Satori Biard and have it go from, let's say, this particular look to something a little bit more like this or maybe another setup that we have here. So here are the different combinations that are here on watch gauge. This is the watch I'm wearing. It's the white dial. It's got the tortoise acetate bezel and the sand color strap. These are the watches as you receive them. This is the anthracite. It comes with a black DLC coated bezel. This is the white dial. It comes with a stainless steel bezel, matte finished, and a black strap as well. These are the additional bezels. We have the blue acetate. We've got the brown acetate, which you see on mine. We've got the blue ceramic, red ceramic, white ceramic, and again, the black matte bezel. And the two different straps that can be added on as well. We've got the sand color strap as well as the gray strap. So I want to demonstrate how to make your Satori Biard completely unique and in just a few quick moments and it's very very easy so I'm going to use my watch here as an example uh, each watch as you saw before comes with a screwdriver it's got a special head to fit those special screws and for the sake of the demonstration I figured let's put the blue bezel and the gray strap on my watch let's go for it a couple of little tips while you're changing the bezel on the watch. I would do it on a table that isn't too cluttered, try to keep it uh, very free from other stuff. I would also not do it on a table that has a carpet underneath. You may want a, uh, a tile floor, a hardwood floor, or something of that nature. That way if a screw does come off the table, you can easily find it. When you're putting the screws back into the bezel, when you're securing the bezel on, if you feel that it only turns a very little bit and it doesn't sink all the way in, you may want to back the screw out a little bit until you feel it kind of click. That's the thread actually finding the, uh, the inside of the hole there. So then back it out a little, you'll feel a little click, and then start turning it clockwise and it'll sink right in. I wouldn't torque the screws down too hard. Once they stop on you should be good. I would install all four screws and then go around them again and just give it a little tightening to make sure that they're in the correct spot, but again I would not torque them down too hard. There we are. It's that easy. It took me probably about one minute tops. You've got a whole new looking watch. You've got the white dial, blue ceramic bezel, and gray color strap on there. And a whole totally new look.
So Sartori Biard is live on WatchGage.com right now. There'll be a link in the description below. Go check that out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button in this lower corner here and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And with that being said, there's a couple cool things coming up this fall just to mention to keep an eye on. The Divers Watches Facebook group get together is on November 18th, I believe it is, in New York City. So if you're in the area, uh, come on down to that. Again, I'll put a link to the information below. We have the DC show, the big DC, the, it's called the District Time. Uh, so District Time is coming up that is coming up on September 30th which is gonna be a fantastic time if you're gonna be in the DC area we'll be there so come by and say hello again the information will be below and worn and wounds wind up which is a mouthful to say but the worn and wound wind up is also going to be in New York. I don't know the date off the top of my head. I'll put a link to that below. Again, I'll be floating around there. I'm not going to be displaying, but uh, I certainly recommend you go buy that show if you're going to be in the New York City area. That is probably one of the better shows in the United States at the moment, so lots of fun. Thank you for everything. Check out the Sartori BRs, and keep watching, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, and following, and all that crazy fun stuff the kids are doing these days. We'll talk to you real soon.